I recently talked with pediatrician Dr. William Nichols about school anxiety in children and the effects it can have. Anxiety is probably the second most common behavioral issue I see now and it's primarily related with school attendance. When I first started we called it school avoidance and we blamed the kid for it. At this point what you see is that anxiety is a common trait that when you ask of course one or both parents have anxiety issues and school is an extremely difficult place now. It's they're temp typically overpopulated, highly regimented, and the school day is a long day. School goes on average from eight to three, and school has less than 30 minutes of recess in a day's time. So if a child is anxious, school is a very difficult environment. So how can parents tell if their child may have an anxiety problem? don't want to go to school and it, it either manifests in direct saying I don't want to go to school or a bunch of somatic symptoms stomach aches you know headaches things to avoid school and when it's more than normal and when you see the child and you see they're obviously not that sick you realize that it's school avoidance but that it's not just because they don't want to go to school it's because they're too anxious to go to school it is a difficult situation that they're getting no secondary gain out of. Are there ways to treat this anxiety? It depends on the child. Some children, if it's possible, they need to be put into a smaller school setting. But that's usually not possible because most kids go to public schools and most public schools have 25 to 35 kids in the class. And there's nothing you can do about that. And the schools very rarely accommodate to an anxiety issue. The other thing you can do is, and it's becoming much more common, is doing homeschooling. And now there's actually public school options for homeschooling, so they don't cost anything and they're standardized and they translate to public school. If you do, the most common one nationally is K-12. If you do K-12 for fifth grade, and you pass it, you can walk in to sixth grade back into the public schools without problems. So sometimes you have to get out of the situation. Sometimes you have to work within the situation. Sometimes you need medication. Sometimes you need therapy.